Pets, of course, are a lot like family, but you may not be prepared if they get sick or have an accident. We call on Curtis Ming with options to best protect your pets. Well, you know, many people are excited when they get their pets and they budget for food, maybe vaccines, even toys. But what about those huge unexpected bills? There are two very different plans to protect your pets, and tonight you decide what's best for your family. <laughs> Joni Enders and her husband say their two dogs are part of their family. They mean everything to us. What's she doing? To keep them healthy, they pay 42 bucks for each dog each month for a pet store's wellness plan. We'll do anything, absolutely anything, to make sure that they're healthy and they're well cared for and they're loved and they're safe. Katie Glenn has run vet offices for 20 years and says wellness plans usually cover preventive care, like physicals, office visits, some vaccines, and teeth cleanings with discounts on other services. But she says for the unexpected stuff, you'll want pet insurance. It doesn't cover the preventive care, but covers accidents, illnesses, and surgeries. Hit by car for $5,000, that's not going to be in the budget. It could save you from making a life or death decision if your pet needs expensive care. She says this boxer's owner couldn't afford a $3,000 surgery. If we didn't take her in, she would have been euthanized. Now she warns some insurance companies are better than others. <laughs> Things to watch for, annual or per incident limits. She says even with coverage, you could end up paying hundreds or thousands after reaching a cap. Breed exclusions. Some companies won't cover known problems to specific breeds. For example, hip dysplasia on labs. And she says you want chronic illnesses covered too. A lot of the stuff that we see in veterinary medicine is not quick to resolve. And it may be months or years of ongoing care. While the industry claims the average monthly premium is 36 bucks a month, she says the price is based on breed and age. And you can control how much you pay by raising or lowering your deductible. Kissy mommy. As her dogs get older, Joni is considering adding pet insurance for Luca and Coco. After all, she says they help keep her and her husband healthy. Our blood pressure is lower because he's dog, because they just bring so much fun. <laughs> Well, if your pet is showing signs of a problem and only then you get pet insurance, don't expect it's going to cover you. Pre-existing conditions are generally not covered. By the way, according to the industry, the number one issue pet insurance ends up covering, urinary tract infections in both dogs and cats. We're told one trip to the vet for that could run between 200 and 350 bucks. Mm. Well, pricing depends on breed and age. It does. So uh, cats, kittens could be as little as 15 bucks. But if you have a problem breed, like dogs right now, those cute French bulldogs, they have a lot of problems. Is that right? I'm Told that that for pet insurance could cost you about a hundred bucks. So, a is month. there a, a certain point in a pet's life you should think about getting insurance? Well, the the person in our story recommended you definitely do it for the first two years, and okay. if they don't have any problems in those two years, you might consider raising your deductible at that time. Uh, but she says if you have an old dog or a cat who already has problems, don't get it at that point. Okay. It's not worth it. Okay. All right. Have a consumer problem you can't resolve? Maybe we can't. Car hotline Monday through Friday, or go to our website and fill out our form.